What's going on guys, welcome to Blender Masterclass. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bowling ball. I think we should just jump straight right into it. So first of all you have to go into Edit, Preferences, type in Loop and activate Mesh Loop Tools and click Refresh. Great. Then we delete this uh, cube, add in a uh, UV Spear, click down here and we will give the search man 64 rings 32 enter then you can click it again here then we'll click n oh i let me just apply screencast if i haven't already no i haven't okay here we go okay so click tap click number three then select four of these one two three four and then over here, one, two, three, four, and then down here, uh, one, two, three, four, and then we go down here and edit. Click loop tool, circle, press E, enter, and E again, and then pull inwards. Just do this here. Yep. Maybe I did it too far, so I'll just take it a little bit out, but okay. Um, yeah, then tap again, then we'll go to the wrench down here, modifier, and we'll click on subdivision, push them all up to three. Uh, if you can do more than that, then hallelujah. So yeah, let me just remove this up here again. Great, we got a bowling ball. Now I'm just going to add a plane in real quick. Mesh, play, pull it out, click 2 in the corner over here, and click E, pull up. Great, I made it very massive, so I'm just going to take a little bit down again. Here, like that. And then we're going into shading. Great. Background, color. There we go. Then let's do this here, click new. We could literally just give it a call like this and say, oh, let's just go for a little light blue like this. Go metallic and here, you basically got it. Yeah, now you got a classy bowling ball, but that's too easy. So how about we do a little bit changes here? So we say color ramp if you uh, think what i'm doing then it's just shift space oh no sorry uh, uh, shift a and then search uh color ramp i put up in base and then let's say mapping goes here and then core uh, texture coordinate go here so uh, object goes in here and then we say Musgrave, Musgrave texture, which will go down and back here, back and back. And a uh, vector of in vector. Ooh, what do we have here? What do we have here? And then we'd click on this one here and put it down to hybrid. And then we can basically just mess around with this a little bit. So you get some... It looks like Rourke uh, from Watchmen. Rorche, Rorke, whatever his name is. Details, you can put that out a bit. Let's just change the color as well. White up here, and let's give it um, this color. And the black, we're gonna give that... Um, Let's just say reddish. Here we go. And let's turn it more classy like this. And then let's just mess around with these settings a little bit. It quietly depends on what you're going for. If you're going for something really cool or wh what do you want? But no, I think we should add another one of these here. 
And let's give this a yellow. Orange, sorry. It's more like orange. And let's push it out a little bit. Push this one closer to the red. Push this one uh, like here. And I'm still gonna scale it till it's kind of like what I want. Um, offset, let's keep that here. Yeah, shade smooth. Look at this, look how it already looks now. Pretty cool. And then you can change the location as well. It's definitely look like Rush. <laughs> uh, then you can also rotate it a bit. Like that. And scale it. Okay. Okay, so let it add in a wave texture. Oh, oh wrong one. Yeah, wave texture. And I'll go into Musgrave. Then scale. Here we go. Yes. And I want this as rings. And um, then we can scale it up or down or however we would like it. I'm gonna keep it like like this. Oh, typical, typical. I just had it. Uh, like this. Yeah, this is exactly how I wanted it. Then distorted. Uh, we could take that a little bit like this here. And you could basically just mess around with these settings. Like how detailed you want it and how how you don't want it. You can see here the more you play around with it, uh the better it will become. Uh see here, not detailed and more detailed. And I quite like it when it's more detailed, but I just want this over in the middle now. So let's just rotate this here. Uh rotate. Here we go. I like it a lot better now. I just want to test something out with this one here. Look if it's on it just slightly big down it looks like it get veins in here as you can see. Um if you wanna go over that go ahead. Um I think I'll just go without them. Like uh, it's like it's faded away, but yeah, here we go. Um, this is it. Um, now you have your unique own cool bowling ball, uh, which you can play around with yourself to make it even better. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, turn on the notification bell and. Stick around because I'll be posting every single day. Thank you so much for watching.